Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Logitech T620 Touch Mouse. This is designed for Windows 8 and that's basically Windows 8 compatible and you should use it with Windows 8. It has six customizable gestures for the top of the mouse surface, full touch design for smooth control, a multi-surface tracking, oh okay so that means the laser or optical or whatever it is in there, laser, laser grade optical sensor okay so it's optical but it's a really good one so the optical sensor can track on pretty much anything you can scan the qr code to learn more uh, it uses the unifying receiver so you can connect up to six logitech compatible devices whether they're keyboards mice remotes whatever else you want to do using that one little dongle in your computer full touch surface lets you naturally swipe scroll tap and click wherever your fingers rest glide through windows 8 with intuitive gestures for vertical and horizontal scrolling start screen access app switching and more smooth rounded shape for comfortable handling and gesturing and this shows you some of the gestures so there's vertical scrolling and horizontal scrolling back and for oh back and forward swipes windows 8 start screen in the middle and then app switching where you can swipe in from the left so let's get this bad boy opened up and find out just how awesome it is we've got an eight windows 8 notebook here so we can try it out pretty much immediately and i have no idea why that's there and I don't know what's going on here. So there's AA batteries, so it runs off AA's, so you could just use rechargeable AA's, but if it's anything like Logitech's recent products, it's gonna run for like a billion years on batteries anyway, so. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've replaced any batteries on a Logitech. It's funny, they don't call that out on the packaging or anything, but. So insert batteries, attach battery door, power on the mouse, plug in the receiver, and we're gonna do all that stuff and we'll be back in a moment. There's a little guide in the manual showing you most of the functions, but if you open up the Setpoint software, so software, software, it actually shows you everything you can do. So you can middle click, uh, click the lower two thirds of the touch surface with two fingers. So I'll show you guys everything that we're doing. So for example, you can middle click to open up a, or to close a browser window, middle click, done. So you just put your fingers there and you actually, the whole, the whole mouse only has one click and it uses the touch the uh, the touch sensitive surface on the top to determine what you want to do so that's why this is a middle click this is a right click and this is a left click see that very cool so it just goes oh there's only something on the right side that must be eh, a right click very very cool stuff okay so back to uh, back to set point which I can access by Maybe going, actually, I don't remember where we left that. We left that on the desktop, right? Okay, so let's go back to start. There we go. Back to the, okay. Let's go back to the desktop and I really don't, oh, right, Slick always hides his start menu, so that's why I'm having trouble with this. Okay, so middle click. Here we go. So double tap the two thirds surface, lower two thirds of the touch surface with one finger. You can set all kinds of different cool stuff. So check this out. Double tap, lower two thirds. And does it not like it if I pick it up? Oh, there we go. Yeah, apparently it doesn't, doesn't like that. It doesn't want to work if I pick it up, but there you go. Double tap in order to start. Show what slash hide the desktop. You can set something up if you want, but we don't have anything set up. Switching applications is done by swiping from the left edge of the mouse with one finger. So I better keep it. Yeah, sorry, the laptop's not level, which is making this hard. There we go. So I just swipe like that to switch between applications. Very cool stuff. Okay, show charms is swiping in from the right edge with one finger. So this will make accessing the charms menu a billion times easier than if you have to kind of go to the corner and then wait for it to pop up and then yeah so you just want to do that okay then for movement you can actually use it for vertical scrolling horizontal scrolling and back and forward so let's go to a browser so we're going to do our hold on, let's close that point and then we're going to do our double click then we're going to go to scroll over here you probably don't even have internet explorer here do you slick yeah, you use Nightly. All right, good for you with your Firefox pre-alpha. There you go. Okay, so all we got to do is, you know, go to some, I don't know, some page or something, and then check it out. So we showed you scrolling inside the Windows 8 UI. Now we can show you scrolling on a page just like that. Don't have to have a physical mouse wheel anymore. No big deal, and I accidentally clicked, but it's okay. Don't let that sort of take away from the coolness of this experience. And then back is done with two fingers to the left, 
and forward is done with two fingers to the right, which I have a little bit of trouble with. I find forward a little bit awkward, but I don't have much trouble with back. It'll take some getting used to. Oh, yeah, I did it before. There we go. But it's a totally new way of interacting with your computer using the mouse to enable the touch features of Windows 8 without actually having a touchscreen monitor. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at, I completely forget the model number now, thank you, of the T620 Touch Mouse from Logitech. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And I don't think I ever showed this, but it has an on-off switch. There's uh, the batteries are sort of here. And you can store your unifying receiver here if you want to use it as a notebook mouse and sort of carry it around with you. So you just kind of chuck that in there and then you don't have to worry about it getting lost. So you close that. And uh, I don't think I ever gave you a close look at it overall, actually. So there you go. That's what the mouse looks like. And then you can put it in your little carrying bag and it will be protected because it's a touchscreen surf or touchscreen touch surface. So you don't want to sort of wreck it. And we're done.